let's say I'm a cultural pessimist and try to talk me out of this, but here would be my worry. If your theory implies cultural evolution speeds up as you have more parts, more people, more interconnections, I worry that social evolution will bring us further from the point of what our genes can handle. So think of there being an increased variance of the match between society and our genes. Most things do in fact work better because cultural evolution carries a lot of useful knowledge. But just a few things stop working, like maybe electoral politics, believe it or not, or the diets we eat, or the, a few things in society go wrong. And if you think of everything needing to work fairly well in society for it to sustain itself, should we then be cultural pessimists? Well, before I get to the cultural pessimist question, I think that uh, a key insight is that we've been in that situation for probably over a million years. So, um, you know, human, human cultural products like tools and food processing abilities have been shaping our guts and our teeth and our hands for a really long time. And culture was always pushing up against these things and the slow process here is the genetic evolution. It takes the genetic evolution a long time to respond, to expand our brains and uh, make them be able to deal with all the, the new world that's being created by cultural evolution. So the world we're facing now is just, just more of the same. Um, as far as cultural pessimism, uh, things could get better, things could get worse. Uh, I don't have any predictions. Now we have the internet, so that's very rapidly multiplied the number of combinations and connections over a 20 year period, much quicker than almost anyone had forecast. So if we apply that to your model, what does your model predict, if only in broad terms, what effects will the internet have on society, given that genetic and cultural evolution are interacting, and the number of permutations has gone up a lot quicker than we expected. Is this a train wreck waiting to happen or the greatest thing since sliced bread, but well, 10,000 times better? Uh, certainly in the short term, it should, should increase the rate of innovation because it's easy to exchange ideas amongst very diverse minds. Now the but problem productivity is, growth is falling right, in most countries. This baffles me. You mean why productivity growth is falling? Right, Japan, US, Western Europe, productivity growth is lower than it was, say, before the 80s. I don't blame the internet for that, but it doesn't seem to have helped very much. Well, I mean, I think you, I'm, I'm a cultural evolutionist, so I want to see this on a much longer time scale. Okay. So ask me in 200 years. Okay, 200 years. <laughs> we'll have you back for a second episode. 